my best friend, my confidant, my comforter, much more than a best friend, has added his words to my testimony. It goes as follows. Wendy, your King Yeshua HaMashiach wishes to add this to your testimony. Daughter, you have traveled so far with me, your King. I knew what training and what my fires needed to be given to you were. You tell me all the time that I know what is the best for you, and you say this correctly. I know it has been an extremely painful process for you. However, you now reap the rewards of obeying and following your king. You have been prepared for the greatest job of your entire life. You are now so very close to me, and I treasure our time together, just you and I, while you are at work, driving in your car, or at home, whatever you are doing, you think upon me every moment. I love you oh so much, and I cherish our relationship. It won't be long before you and the rest of my bride get to come home. Just do what I have taught you. Trust, obey, follow me, and I will not let any harm come to my faithful. My pride and joy, my pearl of great price. By posting your testimony, my love, you will be speaking to people that need to know how to know me, for you know me intimately, my daughter, and I know you. Love your very heart and your King Yeshua HaMashiach. Before I begin, all praises go to the glorious God. You will notice as I go through my wonderful experiences with our Lord and Savior, King Yeshua HaMashiach, that I call him my King. He has taught me that he has a different relationship with each of his children, and none too are the same. He treats his children as they were his only one, so I feel so close to him that I call him this is a term of endearment. And he tells me he enjoys hearing it from me. Of course, there are a lot of things that I wish I would not have done growing up and up to now. I think everybody can say that. I wanted to do everything my parents didn't want me doing. And I was in trouble with them all of the time. One thing I remember as I was growing up was how much my mom loved Jesus. And oh, does she ever still, for he has gotten her through the loss of my stepfather. My mom used to sing Jesus Loves Me when I was a small child. And I remember looking at the family Bible, mostly the pictures then. I knew about Jesus from then, but unfortunately I did not know him. My mom took me and my oldest brother to church with her from the time I can remember to when I went to live with my dad. My parents divorced when I was 11. My mom remarried to a wonderful man, and they had my little brother and sister. I remember some time in my teenage years, I went to church with my dad. At the time, I didn't understand why there were so many different religions and how they fit into God. I guess I was confused. While I was in that Sunday school, the main thing I remember is seeing on the chalkboard a bridge pattern, and the teacher was explaining how Jesus was the bridge, and something finally clicked in my head and my heart. 
a revelation that Jesus was the only way to God and that there was only one true God. After Sunday school, I went back into the main service and was completely touched by God, and I was in tears as I went up to the altar and continued crying. I didn't understand what was happening. I just knew that I loved God so much. As time went on, I was about to be married to a man whom I had known as my brother's best friend since I was five. We had come together after I graduated high school and had a surprise before we were married, but was married before the birth of our surprise, our first child. I know that God has forgiven me for this. Thank you, my glorious and wonderful Savior. King Yeshua, the Messiah, for your forgiveness. However, he gave us a lovely daughter, and 18 months later, another wonderful daughter. We raised our two children through my husband being in the military and myself working, so he was gone on deployment quite a bit. When he was in boot camp in late 1994, my Savior saved this wretched sinner, but I still didn't know him very well and was baptized a few days later with my little sister, but I barely had understanding of why I was being baptized. I knew the general idea from man, but not really from God. I did not realize Romans 6, 3, Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. I was going to my mother's church, different from when I was growing up, and tithing, and I was hungry for God, and watched all the Christian pastors on TV, and was going to Bible study, and learning more about the mighty and loving God of the universe. The pastor gave me money from the church several times. I didn't ask for it. He just offered it. I knew it was from my glorious God, for I was not working at the time. After we moved to where the military told us to go, I began my time in Egypt. I am very sad over the way I didn't follow my Savior, for I left His perfect path of glory, but I never walked away from Him. Our marriage had its good and bad times, and we have separated a few times. But the great God Almighty has kept us from divorcing and has given me his great peace that passeth all understanding. Philippians 4, 7 I know the Lord has used our circumstances for our good, for it has brought me so very close to my beautiful and lovely and mighty God. Romans eight twenty eight. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. While the kids were growing up, I sometimes went to a church down the road from where we lived. A revelation had come to me as I was speaking to the pastor one day. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that I had been thinking and not really realizing it I guess, this is hard to explain, that the Lord Jesus was completely human and completely God. I knew that God could do anything, so I guess I thought he felt no pain when he went to the cross for mine and the world's sins. 2 Corinthians 5.21 For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in Him. I now know that our perfect Savior went through the worst torture and agony that anyone has ever or ever will go through. I can never thank Him enough, even to eternity, for what He did willingly to save a wretch like me and to give me everlasting life with all with my all-glorious, all-powerful, all-wise, all-knowing, and all-loving God, Father Yahweh, 
who has recently told me to call him Papa Yahweh, King Yeshua, and the beautiful Holy Spirit. I had deliverance from smoking, and the story goes as follows. I smoked from when I was a teenager till about 2006, roughly 20-something years. Throughout the years, I would leave my cigarettes in a different room and go stay in another room. I did that a lot. <clears throat> so I was finally realizing I could go without smoking. One day, I had told myself I was going to just stop. I had stopped one other time, but started again without any prayer, as I remember. This day, I knew it was going to be for the rest of my life. This time, I had been praying off and on. I drove home from work that day and did not smoke. I went home, sat on the couch, and prepared myself for the withdrawals to come. They didn't really come. All I remember is claiming my deliverance from cigarettes to the Lord. I intentionally did not keep up with the days, and now it has been nearly nine years. No cravings or withdrawals. All help from the glorious God who art in heaven. I praise him, I praise him, I praise his wonderful name. I had also gotten really interested in prophecy then. I believe I have read every prophetic book that came out. Not really, but almost. I still wasn't very close to my king back then. I'm so sorry to say. When I say I wasn't close to him, I am referring to not praying like I should have been not reading his word, and not worshiping and praising him. But I believed in him, and I loved him, and I couldn't wait for him to come back. King Yeshua has always been there for me, even when I didn't realize it. He is with everyone that wants to be with him, every moment. Oh, how I wish I had followed him and not pushed him so far away. He is the one that created us all. Psalm 139, 13 For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for creating me and my family, my holy king. One day as I was on my way to work and had just passed the elementary school, I noticed in my rearview mirror a bus coming up behind me. This bus was going at least 55 miles per hour and did not look like it was slowing down. I was stuck waiting to be able to turn left as I didn't want to get hit by it. But I had to wait for traffic in the other lane to go past. I was so frozen as I watched this bus come barreling at me through the mirror. I had stopped paying attention to the traffic in the oncoming lane and was trying to prepare myself for what was about to happen. Just as the bus was coming right up behind me, all of a sudden I felt someone, I believe it was an angel, move my steering wheel and I am guessing made my foot step on the gas. So I was turning into the street that I had been waiting to turn into. Just in time to miss the bus that was now slamming on brakes. However, where the bus stopped at, I would have been smashed to smithereens had God not stepped in and saved me. I praise my wonderful, mighty, and glorious God for rescuing me. A neighbor had come outside and had seen the whole thing and said that that bus was going to hit me. I'm paraphrasing. I told my boss how God had saved me that morning. Back in the mid-2000s, a friend and I traveled to Pulaski, Virginia to see a Perry Stone conference. It was an all-weekend affair. We couldn't go Friday, for that was our travel day. We went first thing Saturday morning. It was a good-sized church, and before the conference started, they had praise songs playing, and I could read the words on the screen. Before I knew it, the tears started welling up, and I was choking them back. But the more I tried to stop, the more they came. My face was a mess. I had never felt that way before. Just pure joy and singing to my Savior. 
My tears of joy, I call them. I am here to say that God's presence was on me many more times after that at the conference. I know I was meant to go because our trip was so peaceful and nothing went wrong. And most of all, I felt my God's love upon me and inside my heart. Thank you, my precious and holy King Yeshua. All praise, power, glory, and honor to your holy name. In 2011, when we were renting a duplex, is when all of those terrible tornadoes hit from the Midwest all the way to the East Coast. Me and my husband were sitting watching the weather about the possibility of tornadoes coming our direction, and I started to hear a thunderous noise. I asked him if he heard it, and he said no. However, it got closer and much louder, and I felt the shaking. I thought the windows were going to break. We quickly figured out that it was a tornado heading right toward us. So right when we were heading into the bathroom, I felt the danger was over. It was that fast because I no longer heard anything. I asked my husband to grab the laptop that was near the window. He still rides me about that to this day, that I cared more about my laptop than him. But as I said, things were happening so fast and I was not thinking straight. When we felt safe enough to open the door, we heard and saw neighbors walking around and found out that the tornado had hit the houses on the street in front of us. It hit their backyards. Praise God, he kept us safe and there were no fatalities, which was truly a miracle from God. The next day, you could clearly see the path that it took and it's destroyed many homes. So to tell you about some of my trials at work, I can say that God had his hand upon all of the circumstances. It was 2012 and I was completely miserable at my job. A lot of it was my own doing. I wasn't getting along with the people I worked with. All the while I was crying out to the Lord many, many, many times to please move me to a different location. I was so desperate. I was looking for jobs everywhere. I was completely miserable. I had remembered God's word about praying for everyone, even the ones who you do not get along with, and so I prayed for God to bless them. 